And you're back with your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Espresso here on SABC3. Now, if you're looking for a delicious recipe to wow your friends and family, why not make a fantastic goat's cheese and pea risotto? Hilary Bella and Tenji show us exactly how to do it. Last night's episode of Hayden Quinn South Africa saw our favorite foodie draw inspiration from Fairview. The farm is a proud supplier to Woolworths and carries the biodiversity of wine or BWI label, which means the wine producer farms sustainably. I am ever so excited to be back in the kitchen with my favorite food editor, Hilary Biller. It's so lovely to have you back. So I didn't scare you away, did I? Absolutely <laughs> not. I'm actually rearing to go for today. And today we're going to try a recipe from our favorite shrimp on the Barbie chef, <laughs> Hayden Quinn. Yes, well, he's gone a little bit French mm. this week. Oui, 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 oui. oui. Yes. <laughs> um, noticed minus the beret, but he headed off to the sort of food and wine capital of South Africa, Franschhoek. And it's difficult not to fall in love with Franschhoek. And you can see that he's been inspired by the just abundance of fresh produce to produce quite a classic recipe. It's a really easy recipe. It's very versatile. It's risotto. And it's made with rice and you can add all sorts of different ingredients to it. But our man got really down to earth. You know, he loves sort of organic, mm. fresh produce. And he's used peas, lovely thyme, celery, lots of garlic, onion, and then of course, some goat's milk cheese. But the most important when you're making a risotto is actually the stock. What you need to do is have the stock on a rolling boil next to your pot of risotto. Huh. And if you're gonna to go to all this trouble, use really good stock. And we have some beautiful organic vegetable stock here. Okay, what we're gonna start off with is the lovely flavorings that we need in the dish. It's some onion, lots of garlic, mm. and some celery. And what you always start off with, this classic dish is a generous knob of butter. Don't think you can use anything else but butter. You want that lovely richness it gives. Okay, now to all the foundation ingredients that work so well. It's the onion, the garlic. The more butter and the more garlic together, the better. Generous handful of celery, lovely color, great crunch. Stir that through, cook it till it's just soft. And what about a handful of thyme? Gosh, what a good student you are. <laughs> You are learning. We're doing it Hayden style, just adding the stalk with the leaves, and it's gonna be so fragrant and delicious. Mm, I can't wait, this smells amazing mm -hmm. already. Yeah. Oh. We're using an arborio rice, okay. which is a short grain rice, not like the longer normal mm. rice that we know, and it's lovely and starchy. So what happens as it cooks, it releases the starch, and then the rice can take up all those beautiful flavors. Oh. And just to deglaze the pan, you need a lovely splash of white wine. Choose a bottle that carries the BWI logo to be sure the winery is farming sustainably and helping to conserve our biodiversity. You could use a bird juice, which is an alcoholic, or some lovely fresh lemon juice. Uh -huh. And I think we need just a dash of lemon. Just a squeeze of half a lemon would be great. Half a lemon. And will add such lovely flavor. Gently stir while adding in one ladle of hot stock to the rice. Allow it to be absorbed before adding the second ladle. Hayden uses these beautiful fresh peas. That's the versatility of this dish, as you could almost add anything. And then for the creaminess, some lovely goat's milk cheese. The star of the show. Yeah. But I love that part in Hayden's show, when he milked the goats. <laughs> and then I'm sure that's what inspired him, to use goat's milk cheese in the risotto. The beauty about goat's milk cheese is it actually doesn't melt like, say, a cheddar cheese and mm. become all stringy. It just comes really nice and creamy. I am so looking forward to this dish. It's smelling oh. absolutely amazing. And risotto waits for no man. You've got to serve it and eat it immediately. That's true. We've been so, under some time yes, pressure, so but let's go. Nice, big, generous helpings. Let's recap. Heat your vegetable stock. In a separate pot, cook the onions on a medium heat. Add the garlic and thyme and continue to cook. Add the arborio rice and lightly fry. 
Deglaze the pot with white wine and squeeze of lemon. Next, ladle hot stock onto the rice and gently stir. Add the fresh peas last. Once the rice is cooked, crumble in goat's cheese. Well, as Hilary said, this is definitely a dish for two. So if you'd like to have this for dinner, all you have to do is SMS the keyword Hayden to 3378 and we'll send you a link to the recipe and an ingredients list. Hilary, mm. I think it's time for us to enjoy this. Quite. Mm. Mm. Bon appétit. Bon appétit.